friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to a brand new series over here, Lost Time Gaming. Today, we are jumping into uh, something new and old, as, by some strange twist of fate and irony here. We are checking out Slender the Arrival. Now, I know you might be thinking to yourself, wait, isn't this game like 10 years old? And uh, the answer would be yes, yes it is. And... Uh, as fate would have it, as divine providence has occurred, uh, it's just received a massive graphical overhaul to uh, the modern Unreal Engine, I want to say. I'm not 100% on the specifics, but basically it's been given a hilarious facelift and uh, kind of breathing fresh life into this old title. Now, I never got into um, Slender much when it came out. Like, it was a huge deal when it first came out. Basically, Slender the Eight Pages was uh, was the, the new big thing in horror when it came out. Now, uh, there's been countless knockoffs and fan games and stuff like that. And I never really got into all of that so much, but I did always hear that if you wanted to play a Slender game, this was the one to play. Because this is Slender-style gameplay, and this actually has a story attached to it. And that's a whole other thing about Slender I have uh, little to no idea about, is, like, the the lore behind it, the, the Marble Hornet stuff. Like, I watched a, a horror movie on Amazon Prime the other day that was about Slender Man, and I was like, I don't know what any of this is about, but it was still fun anyway. And hopefully that will happen here. So, I've yammered on long enough. Let's just get into this. The, the gist of... Um, Slender's pretty straightforward. Prior to the tragic arson incident that stunned the community, many Oakside residents reported the purported victim of the blaze acting strange and withdrawn from his neighbors. Oh. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure if I should narrate it, narrated that or not because of the um, weird, like, reverse voice. Land for sale. Please contact Kate at a 555 number so it's totally real. And also, uh, friends, don't ever park your car in this fashion. Don't, don't ever park your car at, like, a 45-degree angle while also on a diagonal. Just, what was that? Oh, I have a zoom. I did not know I had a zoom. Okay. Well, I suppose we should follow the path. Now, I'll be honest with you. I've never played this specific game apart from this little intro bit, which looks way better than it did 10 years ago. I can tell you that much. Because this was a game I, like, purchased, and because I had a million other things to do, and the computer I had at the time would not run this, even on the older version. Uh, I never really got the chance to play this. This was this was the game that I would turn all the settings on min and hope it would run at a steady rate, and it didn't, so I didn't play it. This is, of course, one of the many games the, uh, the YouTuber scene kind of really had a fun period of with time with. Uh, I kind of missed the boat on that, unfortunately, which probably describes the entire YouTube scene in relation to me, is I kind of missed the boat on that. That's not stopping me, though. I do like the trees. It's kind of like where I live. It's a little more mountainous here. Although, there's plenty of mountains where I live. They're just... I happen to not live in the mountainy part. I live directly next to the mountainy part. And I assume we're not supposed to do any exploring here. They want us to just take the trail. A lovely day for it. One of the things I learned about living both in a like a small city and then living out in the woods in a place like this with dirt roads and trees is that the city's great for proximity to stuff. You know your your, your supermarkets, your, your basically your everything. It's just right there. But so is everybody else, and uh, that gets old really fast. Now, living out in the woods, there's still people near you. 
but more often than not, they don't want to have any anything to do with you and just live their own quiet lives, and that's fun. I I would uh, I would say I would think everybody could probably enjoy a stint of living quietly in the woods. There's nothing nothing as relaxing as that, even if it's only temporary. It's a big old truck. It's like a I don't know. It's like an armored Land Rover. I don't know, it's weird looking. But see, again, parked like a, a weirdo. Don't don't park on a 45 degree slope like that. It's just a bad idea. Now, if I recall, the further we get on this path, the less bright, sunny, and awesome it's gonna be. Wow, that was weird. My footsteps came off to the side of me for a second there. Alright, we're taking the long enough dawdle here. Let's run. I just remembered I could run. I certainly wasn't walking intentionally. I'm not a doofus. Or am I? Oh, and just like that, the sun's gone. Or is it? It's just evil sun now. Oh, yeah. The, the one of the... One of the patch notes for the update had made mention that there was going to be Halloween themed stuff in it. Which I guess is fine. I, considering I've never actually beaten this game, I can't really feel too strongly one way or the other about it. Certainly adds to the ambiance. Yep. Oh yeah, don't leave your garage doors open either. That's that's a huge red flag. Or your front door. Just don't do that. Oh, it's echoey in here. Oh, that's never good when you see that. That's bad. I thought it was blood all over the walls. It's just a really flamboyant floral pattern. Okay. Lovely place for a seance. No, nothing there. You know, this keeps leaving all these doors open. I'd catch hell if I went through a house leaving so many doors open. Ah, yes, the old skull on the table. Honoring the life of Beth Hayes, October 18th, 2009, at 9 a.m. Grace Hill Cemetery, 615 Everson Street, Pastor John Taylor. Okay. <laughs> I like how it was a read button. Like, yeah, I didn't I didn't get that the first time. Although I guess some people don't read cursive anymore. Item added to your scrapbook. It can be viewed at a later time from the main menu. Okay, yes, I see you, spasming flashlight. Hello. Wow, that is that is an impressive flashlight. Oh, we got a low power mode? That's that's fun, I guess. Flashlight, batteries, extra tapes, lighter, kerosene, lock the house. Okay, well we got flashlight, so we need lighter batteries, kerosene, and extra tapes. Let's uh let's get on that. Now one of the things Slender does very well, pick up the faceless pumpkin. Oh yeah. They're supposed to be wrapped, I am, but not a gift in a bun so soft and... Oh, alright, well, we're supposed to pick up 30 pumpkins. I remember that was also in the uh, patch notes. Zero new messages. One old message. Hey, Kate. It's CR again. I hope everything's okay. I know there's been a lot to take in and wrap your head around. It'll be good when Lauren gets there to help you sell the house. Take a little load off your mind. Give me a call when you get the chance and we can talk. Take care. Press one to delete. Two to return to the main menu. I, I tried to press one. It it didn't let me delete it. Um. Yeah. I mean, this place is nice, but it would do with like a lot more shut doors. So one of the things Slenderman does very well, even even in like the fan made games, a lot of times, is its sound design is usually very good you can hear the droning kind of just ever present in the back of our oh that's that's awesome that's cute the droning is ever present in our uh our hearing oh 
Yeah, let's not do that. Oh, that's nice. You know what we should do now that I think about it? Yeah, we should go and make sure all the windows are shut. Because it's one thing, locked, good, to leave interior doors open, but it's a whole another to leave exterior windows and doors open. So let's do a sweep around the perimeter here. Oh, number two. From K. Millen's Abiservule, from Unknown Sender. Okay. Thanks for calling last night. Probably sounds dumb, but it was good to hear your voice again. Good to hear that Lauren's been doing really well, too. But yeah, about what all we said, I'm not sure what to think of it yet. What are the odds of two people having the exact same hallucination? Could it really just be a coincidence? I have to go to my doctor today for some routine stuff, so I'm going to try and casually bring this up and see what he says about it. I'll let you know how it goes. CR. Okay. Totally normal. Now, I'm going to not turn the radio on because I've played horror games before and that's just a flat out bad idea. Man, the door opening noise is ridiculously scary, though. It's it's like a door opening with a squeak, but it's also a, like a ghost squeak. Terrifying stuff. I can't flick the switches. That's that's probably for the best. Man, I know there's nothing going on right now, but I still find myself jumping in shadows. Mostly due to that droning noise I was just talking about. Ah, yes. Nothing nothing says realism like exterior double hinge doors. That's obviously a very real thing that exists. Don't question it. Can I shut this? Oh, it's not droning in there anymore. Oh, that's lovely. Although there is a... Oh, it's just a skeleton. Yeah, right, we're fine. We're good. I want to... I want to shut the garage door, but something tells me that's just not in the works. I see no... No box. Doubt it's this. No. Okay. It's not that either. Okay, so we're just going to shut this door. Again, I keep... I keep hearing stuff on the outside edge of my hearing, like on the sides, like a like a surround sound kind of deal, and uh, it's very unsettling. Now the real the real downside for that on my end is that I'm wearing very good headphones. They're not like studio grade, but they're uh, adjacent, I would say. So, whenever something untowards happens with the hearing, I, I hear it very crisply. Very, very crisply. Could you not? Uh, pardon me. I'm gonna need you to not scare everyone that walks by, please. Halloween was yesterday. You're gonna have to- I'm gonna have to get you dial it back. Oh, this one we're getting to read just because the the ugly colored font. Thank you. I can't thank you enough for coming all this way to help me out. It's been a pretty rough road trying to sell this old place. I wish I had turned to you sooner. You have no idea how happy I'll be once this is all behind me. Love you always, Kate. Okay. The phone line appears to be dead. Also, somebody broke this expensive TV. What a jerk. Who does that? Well, probably the same person who ransacked the house would be my guess. All right, we should we should really start closing sections of the house off behind us so we know where we've been. So we don't get lost. Ah, number one. Oh, here we go. Hey, Kate. It's been a while since we last spoke, hasn't it? Hope you haven't forgot about me. I know writing a letter is a little old-fashioned, but sometimes I like to just sit down and write something out, you know? So I can't remember what I was doing at the time. But all this stuff we used to do when we were kids just came rushing back to me all of a sudden the other day. Remember when I'd sneak over at night so we could all go, both go out on our adventures? Ghost hunting, we called it. We'd shine the flashlight through the trees and jump at every little insignificant noise. Our imaginations were always working in overdrive. I wish I could rewind it back then. It seems like everything after that time just hasn't been as good for both of us. How long has it been again? It's been at least a couple of years, hasn't it? She was always kind of mean to me. 
Maybe she actually knew about us sneaking out all the time. Guess we'll never... Sorry, uh, ignore all that. I started rambling too much. Anyway, please let me hear from you soon. I know things have been less than normal for you lately, so I just wanted to check in. CR. Okay. I like how somebody's going through the diligence of numbering these... What is that? I hear, like, bugs? Somebody's going through the trouble of numbering these documents, which is fine, I guess. Alright, so I think we're almost done here. Those are the squeakiest doors ever. It's great. Oh, it's just closed door. I thought there was a... Uh, there was something else. Okay. I get the feeling the rest of our stuff is upstairs. Make sure we're all shut up here. Yes, good. Okay. Yeah, it's like some some of the door squeaks are like played in reverse and it's truly disturbing. the truest story. Oh, of course I shut the flashlight off right before entering the darkest room ever invented by humans. Yeah, it's really weird, like, it feels like we walked into a house, like, right after, like, a ten-man burglary crew came by and just rummaged through everything. Because <laughs> everything is just in disarray. Nothing's really, like, super damaged, but just... Everything is just totally in all kinds of discombobulation. Make sure nobody's outside, eh? I'd be lying if I said my anxiety has not been building this entire time, because it has. Oh, hello, pumpkin. From a ballpark I might hail in kids' hands, I'm a tasty trail. Okay, thanks for the... Thanks for the limerick, pumpkin. I, uh... I don't know what to do with that information. I'm sure it'll come in handy someday. Or, you know, not. Whichever. I would. Oh, see there. That was that one was in reverse again. I would take. I would just leave the flashlight on, but it's so hilariously bright that I'm kind of not wanting to leave it on all the time. Which is a problem I've been noticing in uh, more modern games with their light sources. Like stuff, it, it, more so in games that are higher end but aren't using ray tracing. You run into stuff like this where you try and have like a realistic light source but it's so outrageously bright that it's it becomes unrealistic again. I saw the keys, I just, just making sure we're being thorough here. Okay, so we got keys. But we need tapes, we need batteries, an American favorite, some say, on picnics and ball games I lay. Okay, cool. Yeah. The droning music is getting. Oh, jeez, that plant scared the crap out of me. The droning music is getting very intense. We were just in here, right? Yeah, okay. Who's that? What? Something just happened. Use key to unlock. Oh, here, here we go. Oh, no. That's all bad. That's all bad. Stop now. I, I would like to. Oh, can you see it? No, I don't want to see it. What did I just pick up? Yeah, that was just a, like a loon, right? Yeah, that's just an animal. It's fine. 
I didn't find the batteries or extra tapes. I just want to go on record about that. I did find a piece of paper that I did not read. And you see it. We got watchtower. Like a... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's... That's tower, all right. When my, uh... Yep, that's a big old... Yeah, I see it. It's, it's there. Is that where we're going? I think that's where we're going. Didn't I shut these doors? getting very nervous now I'm not entirely sure why I mean we have we have had the start of things happening but I don't know this game is surely good at giving me anxiety door won't open what but we have the we get the keys though Got the keys. Now the phone's dead. That's great. So I'm confused then. What, what are we what are we missing here? Oh, I actually took that note right off the kitchen. That's hilarious. Uh where do we not have a we do not have any kind of journal or anything. How about P, no? No, button the buttons they do nothing. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, there's no way they're letting us go that way, huh? What about around back here? Because as far as I know... Oh, no. Though it's just open there. We're just gonna go that way. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Is that a pumpkin? No, that's a decorative. That's not a... Objective-based pumpkin. Okay. That's just totally normal, I guess. Can't, uh... Can't resist climbing on the playground gear. Between two pillows I rest, but to sleep is not my quest. Okay. Not really sure what that means, but hey, you know, what are you, what are you gonna do? Uh oh. You see that? The camera jostled there. So the thing with Slender Man, as far as I know, is that you're not supposed to look at him, right? That's that's the long and short of it. That's basically all I know. It kind of teleports around. What what do we just uncover like a a forbidden mining site? What's going on right now? None of this is good. I Okay. Fatal blaze erupts at Oakside home. Arson suspected. Oakside fire crews say a blaze at a southeast home resulting in one death may be the result of arson. Fire broke out at the home located just east of Oakside Lake at 11.30 p.m. Neighbors who knew the man living in the home, currently the only known fatality, as agitated and abrasive. He lost his son many years ago. Since then, he's never really acted the same. He would always claim to see his son standing outside his window, staring in. Said Kim Rollick, a neighbor who has known the man for 20 years. Authorities say Charles Matheson, 47, died of smoke inhalation. His body was found inside the basement of the home shortly after the fire crew put out the blaze. Bummer. No. That is literally somebody walking. You can't... 
That was that was footsteps coming in my general direction. They were farther off, but oh, the brightest of lights! Holy crap! Also, that's not how lights work. You don't have double cones coming off of lights like that. <laughs> um, where are we? I guess we're just following the path still. Yeah, that makes sense. I think I've been overthinking this whole first section of this game. <laughs> just kind of uh, worried because I'm a huge jump scare wuss. I am so susceptible to jump scares. I reckon we probably come back through that way. But we're going this way. Because it does want us to head towards the tower. Which is like over there somewhere. Calm down, birds awake at night for some reason. Man, that's the most ominous generator I think I've ever heard. Wow, those birds are really ticked off. Yep, they're, that, that's like Alan Wake levels of crows right there. Hey, I really wanted to do Alan Wake 2 on the channel. But it's on a platform I don't support, so maybe maybe in a year or two we'll get that done. I hope. No, I'm glad it was made, but I can wait. Ah, another pumpkin. Lovely. Good. What's the limerick on this one? In a summer feast I shine with ketchup and mustard in line. Okay, somebody, somebody was having fun with the pumpkin lyrics, limericks. Wait, did we just take a path leading back to the house we were just in? Because that's not ideal. Oh no, this is a different house. Oh, what's gonna go wrong in here? Oh, what was that? I was, I was originally freaked out by the skeleton, but then I realized it was just a fake skeleton. Grilled or boiled, may I be a delicious mystery. You see. Yeah, that's demonic whispering in my ears right there. That's... That's not good. No, no, this is good. Little green herbs from playing Resident Evil? I'll take those. Oh, that... Uh, oh, I don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go away from that now. We're just. I shut the door, but it's, you know what? Nope, in for a penny. We got. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was a faceless ghost. That's a lovely painting. We're taking that with me, apparently. I thought it was a faceless ghost hell-bent on giving me nightmares, but, you know, I just had to be sure. Sometimes you just gotta know. I don't like the subliminal flashes. Well, this should be good. What's wrong with this place? Why did this happen to us? No answers anywhere I look. Am I crazy? These things I see at night, I don't know what to think. Ever since Charlie disappeared and Diane left, I must have hit a breaking point. I still keep looking. I still hear him sometimes, that cute little laugh. But he's been gone nine years. Why does every day have to hurt so much? Charles. Yeah. Loss is a bad experience for all parties involved, I'm afraid. Notice my flashlight is significantly less bright in here. Almost like it's being stifled by the evil. And also, I would like to leave this house now. If, if that is an option, can we can we leave? I'd like to leave. Okay, that's that's probably for the best. Let's go turn on another generator. These are fun.
I like how the game is, I think the game is trying to insinuate that I should be memorizing these locations, but I'm going to be straight up with you, I'm not memorizing these locations. Not from willful ignorance, just an inability to memorize map locations that easily. Just not one of the skills I'm proficient with. Residential development takes hold on Oakside Park outskirts. Oakside is about to welcome some new residents with all lots now purchased. Home developments are set to begin this spring. Six new homes are expected to go up over the next year, with more to follow. The new homeowners will be the first new residents of the area since a fatal blaze four years ago that resulted in the death of one man. We couldn't be happier to bring new life to the community, said Robert Belvedere, chairman of the Oakside Village Community Development Group. We're pleased to welcome all the new families who went to call Oakside home. Okay. Just curious. I yeah. Okay. I don't have the ability to save it at whim, which is unfortunate. That'll teach me to slow walk it around a house for ten minutes. <laughs> I don't think there's anything here either. Um, again, I'm wandering in an area that need not be wandered by. Ooh, I have a silhouette. That's fun. I did not know that. Do I got legs? Oh, I can't. Ah, the game doesn't let you look down that far. That makes sense. All right, let's just, we'll just have book it mode permanently engaged. Jump scares be damned. That's another building, cool. I'm going to let me say this is shut. Yep, okay. There's a really heavy stomp next to me there. That was weird. Do not enter staff only. Well, I choose to ignore that message. Am I going to regret that? Oh, yeah, probably. Well, I regret looking at that, whatever that was. I really don't like that. What What's happening? He came for me. Why didn't I listen? He was right. He said this would happen. Help me. Need CR. He knows how to end this. Come find me. Don't let him in. Oh. <laughs> what? Area Mountaineers will often use their bright flashlights to stun and scare off invasive animals such as raccoons and coyotes from scavenging their supplies at night. Oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and say that was probably a checkpoint. <laughs> um, yeah, so that being said, that was episode one of Slender the Arrival in its new final form. If you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.